Hey, Mary, how are you? Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi, sir. Everything is fine. And you? I'm doing great. Great. Mm -hmm. Hello, Veronica. It, you are a little soft. Do you have a, a microphone or, or closer? Try again. Oh, it's because you're on mute. You're on mute, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, there you go. <laughs> That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Problem solved. You see technical problems like this. <laughs> Vero, Vero, you're on mute. You're on mute. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm learning everything. <laughs> no problem. No problem. That's the idea. The idea is that we learn together. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is, I hope everybody had a great day. We're going to get started right away. Um, we want to work on our fluency and our practice. So we're going to have five minutes to catch up. So what does that mean? Catch up is simply talking about routines, your day, your activities. This is your opportunity to speak, to talk about whatever you want. Don't worry about it. I had eggs for breakfast, for lunch, I prepared this. Uh, today I had a difficult day, I had many meetings. Whatever you want, all right? It's five minutes to catch up with your partners. Everybody's ready? Ready. Okay. Yes. Let's ready. go. Omi, you're going to catch up with your partners. That means you're just going to talk about your day. Patricia, you're going to go to a group and you're going to talk about your day and your activities. I have a meeting all the afternoon and the morning was very short to do all my work. Yeah, wow. this is uh, interesting. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, um, I do <laughs> medicine, but, but... You are in Diego? In S and D in train marketing. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, and you are on the share service I, I, center, right? Yes, on the share service uh -huh. center. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, you are on the five level. I am at the three, but for this time, um, we are in the in San Gregorio. Because campus is closed, there's nobody, um, there's no permitted permitted to go to to the campus. So uh, we are. And you have to go every day to, to yes. the office. Uh, yes, every day. So um, since last week, I think. Yes, yeah, since last, last week. So. Uh... They are in here. Okay. And what about you, Carlos? What do you do? Uh, I, I, I have a meeting in the afternoon, all the afternoon. It was a training about the uh, four point system. We, I work at a textile company. And we 
have to, okay. to learn about it. But it, it's okay in the afternoon, but uh, in the morning it was very stressful because I have to do things that I have normally make during eight hours and I have to do very quickly to finish 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 it uh, in the morning to be prepared for the meeting. Okay. Cool. And then that's 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 and today for example I wash in race anatomy. Grace nice. is, is is long series. It's very season. It has Much 16 season. season, right? Yes, yes. Um I uh, was watching um, 16. 16. 16 season, right? 16. Have you seen yes. the last one? Well, Okay. So let's say, for example, are there any questions, any any words that you're not sure about that you wanted to use in your speaking and you don't know? No. Uh, uh, we didn't. We couldn't say manifestación. How do you say manifestación? Excellent. For, I will tell you first, does anybody know? Anybody know how to say it? Go ahead, Arturo. I see your lips moving. You're on mute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Protest. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's how you pronounce it. Okay. Any other words? Uh, when we were, uh, well, Arturo said that he was pendiente of the of some meeting he had. Okay. Does anybody know how to say pendiente? Pending. Pending? Waiting Ed. for. Very good. Both forms are correct. Waiting for or pending. Mm -hmm. Pending is that it's not going to happen or it's not ready yet and waiting for it that it is going to happen and you're in that process. Mm -hmm. Any other words that you needed for your daily discussion? Okay, I, I heard many of you 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 didn't need you didn't say this word but you needed to say this word and many of you needed to say that word with it's in all of the words are in chat by the way in case <laughs> in case i forgot to mention it uh, all of the words are in the chat that we're talking about the vocabulary and that word is hectic and some of you really needed to use that word hectic means that you had a very very busy day you had many activities you had uh you know meetings or uh reports or whatever it is but this, or, or maybe you had to go to the bank, you had to go to the supermarket, you needed to clean the house, you needed to cook. This is hectic. Hectic means very, very busy in an intense way. So, well, I, yes, I think. But uh, how it could be the, the expression? Exactly like that. Edwin, how was your day? Ah, oh, I had a hectic morning. I had a hectic afternoon or I had a hectic day. And this indicates to the person very, very, very busy. It's a synonym of busy. Of busy. It's, it, it's an amplifier of busy. So busy is here and hectic is here. I never heard that word before. I'm glad. I'm glad. Me either. Me either. I, I, I you learn one that. word in three days, but one word. Ha, my job is done. I I quit. Yeah. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Okay. Any other words that you felt that you needed or that you, you weren't sure that you wanted to use in your vocabulary? Oh, many words. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Well, today's topic is going to be able to help us expand those ideas. It's going to be uh, something that we can use on a daily basis. Today's topic is we're going to be looking at clauses uh, using when and specifically clauses to describe things that are positive, things that are negative, and things that are neutral. This means we're talking about preferences today. Preferences are what your decision is, what you enjoy, what you like, or in the case of the negatives is your things that you dislike, okay? And we have many different ways to say those. For those that are in the computer or on the platform, I am continuing our class. This is the lesson objective for today, is it with the adverbial clause, when is the technical form, but it's just expressing ideas. It's just expressing your opinions is what we're really, the main idea is, okay? And that's clauses with it, okay? When you're... So what, what do we use it for? Well, really, the main idea, regardless of the name grammatically, is for giving your opinion. What do you think? Hang on. All right. When you th what do you think about a topic? What do you think about a person? What do you think about something? This is when, in general, when you're talking about those situations, that is when we use when, okay? Because we use when for the situation in those moments, okay? I like it when, um, you know, when I receive good service in a restaurant, okay? I love it when uh, my children tell me they love me, okay? This is for positive ideas, things that I enjoy. Neutral, we use the expression, I don't mind, okay? I don't mind is not that I don't, I don't care, it's different. I don't mind is that for me, it's not important, yes, it's not important, no, okay? It's, for me, it's okay. Do you want to eat at Pizza Hut? Okay, do you want to eat a Little Caesars? Okay, for me, I don't mind, I like both. This is for neutral. And then we have the negatives. The negatives are things that are the opposite, obviously, of the things that you like. Things We have different forms to say. I don't like it is, okay, the antonym of I like it. I can't stand it is the antonym of I love it. This is stronger than I don't like it, okay? I don't like it, I don't know, maybe I don't like uh, I don't like it. Uh, music, for example, I don't know. Bachata. I don't like it. It's not music. Ah, but for me, I can't stand it. Yeah. This is more because this, I can't stand, you are expressing synonym of I hate it. Okay, so I don't like it is less, but I can't stand and I hate it is more intense. It's okay that part? Yes, teacher. Okay, and what we use is, we use the word when, okay? This is the, what we're talking about grammatically. It's not so much, but this is important that you have it. I'm gonna put it, the example here, okay? Uh, you give your opinion, whatever your opinion is, positive, negative, neutral, okay? Your statement. Your statement. That's the first part. The first I like part. it, I, I don't like it, I, like it. I, I love it, I, I enjoy it, whatever your, whatever your personal opinion or preference is. Then you're going to put when, and then the activities or the time that that happens. When, and then as an example, someone gives me a compliment, okay? When someone, I don't like it, when someone lies to me. I, this is for in those situations. We use when to give an example of those different situations. Let me see if I have maybe one more, okay? Here you can see the negative ones. I don't like it, the same idea. When, and then the negative, or, or whatever it is that you don't like. Okay, so one more time. What's the main idea? Okay, your personal opinion. 
How can you give your personal opinion? Are those phrases? I like it. I love it. I enjoy it. I, you know, I hate it. I, I dislike it. Whatever your personal opinion is, right? And then you use when for the situations, okay? Okay. So I don't like it when, and then that situation. I don't like it when children are crying in the public bus, in the transportation. Okay. I don't like it when, uh, when I am late for work. I don't like this situation. Now, how do we use when? When the subject, when I, when people, when, you know, when my sister, when my brother, okay, whatever it is, it's when the person and then the action, the situation. So for me, for example, for me, I don't like it when my students don't ask questions. I don't like it. I don't. I like when my students ask questions. I like when my students understand, okay? I enjoy it when I hear people interacting and speaking. That's it. It's just my personal opinion. And that's the idea. It's your personal opinion, whatever topic, right? Your personal opinion. When the, the person, the thing, whatever you're talking about, and then the action, okay? I like it when there's two for one in the, in, in the restaurants. <clears throat> I like two for one, like neveria. I buy, okay? Anything, okay? That's the idea. Are there any questions at this moment? No question. Okay. All right. So we, let me take a picture. I'm going to put it into the chat so that you can see all of these clauses, which are the main clauses for that we use. If, like I said, if you are on the computer, you can check 1.10. If you are not in the computer, in just one moment, I'm going to put into the chat. And that way we can have, and you can practice with your partners. It's going to tell you which one is positive, which one is negative, and then of course, which one is neutral. Are there other forms? Of course, you can use other forms. You can use forms like I love, I enjoy, I dislike, I like. It's all about opinions. That is the function, opinions, okay? So, uh, let me see with Carlos Ortiz, okay? Carlos Ortiz, uh, do you have a girlfriend or a wife? Right now, no, I'm single. And oh. single, teacher. Okay, all right. But when you look for your girlfriend or your wife, how do you like her hair? Her hair, how do you like her hair? Um, uh, I like... Um, Red hair, blonde hair, blue, pink, long, short. Um, I like uh, black hair. Okay, Woman. that's that's it. But the grammatically, the correct way to use it, I like it when, and then the subject. The subject in general, women, when women, and then the action. When women have black hair. Okay. Okay. Vane, are you a married boyfriend? I am single too. Ha! Ah, excellent, Vane. <laughs> Another. Uh huh. Okay, Vane. That's great. Okay. Okay. Vane, before you had a boyfriend? Yes. A what? bad boyfriend, but I have. E exactly. Exactly. A bad boyfriend. That's why now not continue. <laughs> exactly. That's it. That's true. What did you dislike about your boyfriend or what did you hate about it? A lot of things, teacher. <laughs> um, I don't like it uh, when he uh, stays with her friends. Okay, good. Only let's correct because it's a I man. didn't like it. Exactly. Okay, that's one. Okay, I didn't like it when he uh, stay with his friends. 
Excellent, Vane. Correct grammatically and correct for the grammar for when. That's it. Okay. That's it. And okay. you can check in the chat, in the WhatsApp, and that's what we're going to do. You need to make one sentence with each of those comments. So you need to have one with I like it, one with I love it, one with I don't mind, one with I don't like it, I can't stand it, and I hate it. You need to have six sentences. The six sentences are about opinions. Can it be about whatever you topic you want? Yes, it's your opinion. It can be movies, okay? It can be books, it can be soda, it can be parks, it can be the government, I don't care. For me, it's only important the fluency and the correct structures. For you, it's whatever topic you like. Are we ready to form our groups? Yes. Yes. Let's, all right, let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. David, any questions? Okay, perfect. Let's go. I, I'll be uh, start with the with a sentence. Okay. The first example, uh, I have to to make two sentences with positives, like I like it and I love it. Okay. I really like I really like uh, people when they are good with other people and I love when my friends um, say say a good or good comment to okay. the others okay oh, Arturo, let, let, hey let me, good very good let me pause um, in the two situations you have two words that are in the incorrect location we need to change those two words. I like, I like it, I, I, I like, and then you said when, when people are nice to each other, correct? Each other, okay. Okay, That's, that was your sentence. You need to put I like and the word it. It is, in, you, is obligation because it's in reference to this situation. I like okay. this situation. So you say I like it when people are nice to each other. Okay. okay. The, sa the same thing for your friends is the same because you are talking about that situation. I like it when my friends. Da, da, okay. Da. okay. Thank you. Michelle. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Right. I love it when my friends uh, say good comments to each other. And the next. Yeah. Do you hate it when the people throw through? Teacher, how, how to pronounce true or throw? True the is meaning in the of past and throw is in the present. Okay, I hate it. I hate it when people throw uh, garbage to the, on the street. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Uh, for me, I hate it when people lie to me. Really, really um, upset with this kind of people. Because ah, okay. I, I, I really love it because I can come with my bird. <laughs> <laughs> Your bird? Okay. Yeah. Bear. Yeah, my bird. Bear? Or bird. I, I the correct pronunciation. Uh, teacher is correct. And if I say bird, mm. I'm, not, I'm, not talking the, I'm not talking about the animal. Bird. Bird. <laughs> it's the thing that is combined with the mustache. <laughs> Ah, yeah. okay, 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 close, close, the, the sound, the, the, the vowel sound is incorrect, is beard, beard, mm -hmm. the, the, I think the confusion is for the writing because it's similar, the, the, the sound is like this, but the, but the idea beard. is beard, mm -hmm. beard, beard, okay, okay. Ah, that's true. I, I, I mean, because when I am talk talking about others. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Rocio, did you have a question? Yes, teacher. Um, we have to talk about 
or whatever topic we want or make six sentences using the clauses with it and when? Very good. It's actually both. It can be any topic, but you need to make the six sentences that are in using the I like, I don't like the ones that are in the group or in the WhatsApp. So it doesn't matter what the topic is that you want to make the sentences about, but you need to make the six sentences. So, okay. as, so as an example, I can make the first sentence, I can make about, I like, I like, remember the structure is, I like it, and then the situation. I like it when it rains, okay? And then the next, uh, the next one can be a different situation, can be, for example, um, the next one was, I love it. I, I love it when my wife cooks a special dinner. So the topics can be anything that you want, but you have to make six correct sentences using each of those. Is that okay, Rocio? Yes, teacher, thank okay. you. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right, guys, go ahead and I'll let you practice. Okay. And then you can answer in, in a wrong way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah the it, depends, it depends on the context. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, right now it is negative. Carlos, something is negative. I don't like, negative. I don't mind, I hate. So what? I, I, uh, I don't like, I hate, I... Yes, I don't... Uh -huh. Or can be... My, I my don't life. enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like I don't like it uh, when the when the soup is it's it's cold. Okay. Okay. The soup. The soup. Mm, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah that's yeah. That's true. Because the soup is cold, mm -hmm. you won't enjoy it. Yeah. That's true. Okay. <laughs> right now, positive. Okay, Ben. Positive. Positive with. Uh, okay. I like it when the movies has comedy and action parts. Okay. <laughs> okay uh, I see the movies have comedy and action parts. Okay, oh. okay. Okay, are about comedy. Like, let me see which actor, like Terry Crew. Terry Crew, he's an actor that make comedy and make action so if you see him in a film or in a movie third crew is the guy that make sponsorship about the old spice old spice ah, ah the, the black guy that yeah yeah or, or, or the or the guy who said yeah, <laughs> yeah, walking fast that, uh -huh. <laughs> that, yeah okay let me see something negative um Mm. Let me see. Let me see. I hate it when someone, well, when a coworker called me pretty late in my free day. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> like Carlos. When, okay. hey, hey, you, you have to send me that. No, that, that's a joke. Okay. Uh, Sending a mission, a, a message. Uh, in, in, in a in a PN hour. <laughs> yeah. For example, yesterday, hey man, send me that. <laughs> in what time? It you was sent? what time was man? Was I think one a.m. Uh, yeah, <gasps> but yeah, but I I, I think I, I think I was I was uh, I was helping you because you always <laughs> forget. Send me this. Type of yeah, no, yeah, because true. you need, I need, I need pay, I need pay, pay this bill. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> Betty was uh, remind me that also because he told me, David, did you send uh, to Carlos the the detail about the invoices? Yo, and, and I, nope, <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when I forgot it. Send to Carlos the invoice about the recharge and packet tigos okay. <laughs> or tigo packs. <laughs> but I, how do you say ofrecer? 
offer? But I, I offered my apologies before. Ah, but in I, I try to, to hey, there's Carlos here too remember we also have Carlos hi yeah Carlos already shared his idea and Omi too oh, okay okay oh, yeah, yeah. He's trying to Eugenia to share her her sentence okay idea. all right let me listen can you share the screen please but I just Okay, okay. Let me see. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I, I see. Uh, I like uh, I I like it when the someone smile uh, sincerely, and I love it when someone has more, a lot of positivity. And I don't mind it when when the people uh, um, I I don't know I can pass that I I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it when when someone have the um, And ah, I don't mind it when someone have some issue or border with me, and I don't like it when someone um try to humiliate me, and I can stand it when someone try to pass me in the line of their bank or some place when I go go to buy, and I hate it with. Um, some when when my husband is told the to study, yeah, they they are own opinion. Okay, it's Thank their you. own opinion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, good chance. Huh? No, I mean you correctly. Ah. Okay, were there any questions about how to form it or how to make it correctly? Teacher, I, I have a question. Okay, Arturo. And um, in the exercise that we got to do, um, it's two parts, right? The first part, I, I don't understand if we, we got to, to, to grade it in some page or, or these examples, it's what we gonna do, we gonna use in the, in the answers in the second part. For, for sorry Arturo, for which one? For, because I'm sharing 1.11 or is it a yeah. different? Is because this, it's uh, one point eleven. Okay, this and is only this is only one part. Oh, okay, and so it's only four and sentences. The, the first sentence. Okay, so here, what you're going to do is you're going to use just like what we did right now, the way that we practiced speaking, but you're going to do it in writing. So you're going to choose what it would be a, a correct response. For example, I love it. I can't stand it, it makes me happy, or there should be more space here. So maybe the confusion, this is one, it bothers me, is one, I don't like it, is a different one. It embarrasses me, is one answer. It doesn't bother me, is another answer, okay? It really upsets me, is one answer, and I don't mind it, is another answer. And you just have to write using one of these, uh, 
situations or one of these uh, responses with the complement. So how do you feel about these situations? Okay, when someone gives a gives me a compliment on my clothes. Okay, what do you use? I I love it. I can't stand it. I I I like it. Okay. It makes me happy. Okay, it makes me happy. Okay, so we can try. Let's see. And you have to put all the the two sentences. Correct. That would be the idea. It makes me happy when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. So if you can see the example, okay, here was just the 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 example, the, the ending, the phrase, and then the person puts the entire sentence. Remember to put a period at the end because maybe you put the right answer and you forget the period and it's not going to be correct. So something small, but remember to put that period. Arturo, was this your question? Yes, teacher, that was my question. Okay, <laughs> but good. Thank you, it's really clear. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad. Anybody else, any questions what you, are, uh, what you need to do in 1.11? It really upset me. It upset me when I don't Fine, Sorry, I couldn't hear you clearly. Can you, I don't? I didn't hear who was speaking. Uh, can you? Can you please uh, repeat? Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> All right, maybe somebody didn't have a comment. I think they got scared or nervous. All right, don't worry about it. It's okay. Sometimes we talk to ourselves, no problem. Okay, the important is clear what you are supposed to do there. Are there any questions at this moment up to 1.11? No question, thank you. Ah, yes, I, somebody has a question, yes? Uh, no, not. Oh, I thought I heard a girl say I had a question. No. No. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so great. So now we understand how we can make our own uh, opinions and we can give statements, okay? So this is the main idea, uh, expressing opinions. Of course, these are only a few of the examples. There are many, many more, okay? It's not just this one. Okay, there are other ones that we have as well that you can use. Um, sometimes you can have like, I can't stand, uh, I hate it, all the different ones. Okay. All right. Well, now let's continue with our reading. Today we have a little reading exercise. Here, as you, can everybody see this? Or do you want me to sh put into the WhatsApp group? Can, or can you see it here? Yes, I can see. Yes, we can see. Okay. All right, perfect. I need four volunteers because we have four paragraphs. Here's paragraph number one. Me, L. L, okay, L, excellent. Paragraph number one. Who has paragraph number Me. two? Okay. okay. All right. Me, it's okay. And John, okay, here's. So who's going to do paragraph number two? I can do it. Okay, thank you, Vanne. All right, and who's, get, who's gonna do number three? Paragraph number me. three? Me. Okay, perfect. And the last one, paragraph number four? Me. All right, Mary, perfect. Okay, please read for the class. Okay, in 2010, the American Dialect Society chose up as the word of the year. Up is short for application. It's a program for an electric, electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000? 425,000. Thousands, okay. Apps that can be downloaded. Sorry? Sorry? Uh, no, whoever, somebody else had their microphone on, <laughs> I think. Okay. Apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. 
Thank you very much. Are there any words you don't understand for anybody in the class? Are there any words you don't understand in the first paragraph? Can you repeat the number? Of course, Gladys. Yes, always in English, the numbers are going to be the same. The only difference is the positions. So for example, here we say the numbers like normal, 425. The only difference is because it's all over here, we put in the word thousand. So 425,000. And the number for mm -hmm. the date is two forms. We can say 2010, which is very common, or we can say 2010. But this is only possible after the year 2000. This is not possible, like in Spanish, for the year you cannot say uh, it's 1,990. No, it's only possible after 2000, or if not, you have to say two and two, 2010, 1980, like that. Thanks, teacher. You're Thanks, welcome. Teacher. You're welcome. Okay, paragraph number two. It's my turn. Yes, Manny. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No problem. Uh, apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere, commuting on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or heading out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Thank you very much, Vane. Are there any words you don't know in this part, in the second paragraph? Commuting on a bus? Commuting is for synonym of transportation, of moving from one location to another. So you commute from your home to school. You commute from your office to your home. This is the transportation. It's not necessary in a bus. It can be motorcycle, car, train, whatever. But this transportation, this movement is called commuting. Any other words? Not teach. Okay, great. Paragraph number three. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps and you can use more than one app at, the, at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the, all at the same Sorry. time. Okay. Are there any words you don't know? No. Dining up, dining. Dining. Dining is to eat. Mm -hmm. That's why, for example, in your house, you have the dining room, the room where you eat. I don't understand, sorry. Dining <laughs> up is, can you use an app to search a menu for a restaurant, like when you say, when you watch the menu for the Pizza Hut online, but in your cell phone. Thank you very much, Jan. That's exactly an excellent example, like Pizza Hut. This is a dining app. You find the menu for the food in the app, in the or Pizza the Hut app. Or the most common app currently is Hugo, when you it, watch the, the menu of Hugo in your cell phone. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm, because Hugo, Hugo has a lot. Mm -hmm. And what's the other one? It's it's Ugo and um, and Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Yes. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. And get my food. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And the last paragraph? One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played to... 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. 
the Apple Store began selling selling apps in 20, 2008 with nearly one million one billion sold. In twenty ten, nearly three three billion apps were sold at an average price of two and thirteen cents. Not only one not only are apps popular, they are also prof profitable. Okay, very good, Mary. Just two words where we need to correct, and one of them is the number, and the number is for the money. Here is, we always say the, the period, we say like whatever it is. So for example, here it's $2.13, okay, or? Okay, $2.13. Correct. Or you have to put a pause. For example, you have to say the first numbers, 2.13, but 213 is common for speaking, but not correct. It's normally $2.13. Okay. And the other one was the pronunciation of this last word. The pronunciation is profitable. Prof profitable. Correct. That is correct. Profitable. What does it mean profitable? profitable means that it makes money. If something is profitable, it makes money. Okay. Okay. Any any words? Like uh, rentable. Yeah, that's right. That's very good. The understanding that is profitable. Exactly. Any of the other words? No. Nope. Okay. Great. Okay. So, Hingan would be towards, I think there was a question. All right, perfect. So all of this here, this one for the amazing world of apps, this is the exercise 1.12. And the idea is here in the discussion, okay? Uh, you're just writing down a comment for it. You can see here, okay? You just write down a post. For example, here somebody wrote, um, I have discovered the app uh, to connect my cell phone with my car. I just downloaded it. Three weeks ago, it's amazing drive with the Waze map in <laughs> the screen of my car. I love it when I hear the 80s song in the Spotify in my car, all with the same app. Okay. So somebody's really happy to, to have this app. Okay. I, I don't know what app it is, but I think it's the Waze, right? Uh-huh. Yes, that's the one. This is Melanie. Okay, so just here in the discussion, you're just going to leave a topic or a, a comment about an app that you like. In this moment, that's what we're going to integrate. We learned how to give opinions about things that we like, things we don't like, and things that we are neutral about. And we are reading about apps. In this moment, we are going to combine the two topics to talk about an app and your opinion. For example, me, I can't stand or I hate when an app does this, or I hate this type of app, or I hate whatever, or I love it. I love it when I can order my food uh, when it's raining and I'm in my house. <laughs> For me, it's perfect. I don't know if you received this week. I love it when, when I, I don't have to leave. I can have delicious food in, in my house. For me, I continue working in my house all my life. It's okay, it's no problem. Okay, so this is the idea. It doesn't matter your opinion. The important is you give your opinion. Remember, combine the two. Your opinion, combining about different apps. Remember, apps are applications that you use. I don't know if anybody has any questions. No. All right. Now we're going to make some new groups, and let's get to it. Hello. Hello. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Hey, Omi. Right. Omi, what happened? You don't put on the, the video anymore, the video camera. Before, always, and now, never. 
don't I I um I don't mm. like I don't like to see him. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I imagine Omi is in the house on the couch or on the bed like this. <sighs> and, and, that, and that's why, and that's why Omi doesn't want to put on the camera. But it's okay, Omi, it's okay, as long as you participate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he using he, he using the advantage of up. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I spend all my time in test I in this application for another app. Other app. <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> all right. Good. I'll okay. let you guys. I'll let you guys practice. Good. I don't have a lot of restrictions, so maybe that's a thing that I don't like of that app. Okay. And you, Jane? Um, it's kind of complicated because I don't have a favorite app, but one app that I use it every day, and my free time. Or a free moment, it's Ukiku. Ukiku is an app that you can use to watch anime. How do you say anima? Uh, uh, anime, sorry. Anime, that's right. What's the name of the app? Ukiku. It's Ukiku. only for Android, I guess. I don't know what it's developed for, for iOS. But for Android, it's a better app if you watch uh, free anime. Yeah, that sounds interesting. And I enjoy in my free time the uh, interest. Uh, I really like that that app because you can find everything you want to make in your house or, or for a work or got some ideas uh, to do some things in or Crafting in your free time. Yeah, it's great when you have a party and you want. I lost my laptop charger and it makes me happy when my brother give, gives me a surprise gift and I don't mind. I don't mind it when I lose my keys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always it 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 a hard it's hard to lose it. <laughs> and I think that that it, that is important, right? <laughs> and there 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 I I don't know if I write, but I read about like GPS for your kids. And when you lost your your kids, you can you can you can find it with your phone. <laughs> but you have to you have to to have a a key or yes. a, a ship a ship in your key or something. No, it's like a little stuff. I don't know, but like like a key a key. Um, let me let me find that word. Actually, I delete my account because I didn't use it anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. The Netflix account. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can stand it when Netflix don't. Um, show me a good, a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's uh, it's it, it sometimes become a waste of time, right? Because you you don't have any idea of what 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 to watch or, or what can what can choose sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Are a lot of 
apps that you can use. Obviously, you have to 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 buy a complement to just to connect it in the mm -hmm. car, and then you have to connect the the complement that you bought with mm -hmm. your cell phone with Bluetooth, and then you can look for all the status about your car, if the engine is okay, if it's missing the oil, the, about the gasoline, the brakes. Um, well, there are a lot of things. Basically, the electronic complements. Basically, it's like, like I, I told you, that we are in the Z generation that we can use a lot of things with just one device. Yeah, I can see. Like I said, I feel like old-fashioned here because I don't know much about, about that. What is the app? Uh, uh, well, no, 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 no. The, the, the app, when, what I'm talking about is called, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Ah, ah it's with the engine, but I don't know. Ah, Motor Data OBD. Modern Data OBD. OBD? Yeah, Motor Data OBD. And also there are another one that I have, but I don't, I can find it. Let me see, what is the name? Ah, I forgot it. But yes. So how you use it? It's the uh, how you use it. All those uh, apples, apps. Mm, da David. Or sorry, sorry. yeah. Have you used all those apps? Yes, basically, the, uh, I, I was telling uh, them that we have to buy just one component that you can find in, in AliExpress or even in eBay. Just you buy that and then you have to, to connect it to the, I don't know what is the name, Cigarrera. <laughs> and, uh. basically, uh, and basically, you, have, you can access to the an, a, analysis about the computer of the the car or mm -hmm. there are uh, other devices that you can connect it in the part where are a lot of chips about the electronic compo uh, component about the car. Wow. Basically, there, there are Very a lot interesting. of things. Interesting. Yes, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it, it, and also, it's really useful for you. No, it does. It yeah. sounds very good. Something ah, very yeah. useful. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you for, for the me, advice. Was, uh, yeah. Okay, great, great. I'm, I, I love the fact that everybody is speaking and you're using exactly the ideas. You're combining the two. You're talking about personal opinion. You're combining the grammar. You're using it to describe the apps. And I, I heard many of you learn about new apps also. I heard, I learned about some new apps from some of you. I said, hey, what? And this? and this? What happened with this? So thank you very much. Thank you for making the effort to join us for the class. I know it's not easy sometimes, so I, I congratulate you and I thank you. And I hope to see everybody again tomorrow. Remember, keep working. If you have any issues with the platform, if it's technical that you can't go in or you can't enter, you write to Jonathan. If it's a problem, a mistake that, that you put in the answer and it's wrong, you ask in class. But if it's for uh, the entering or having access, that is with Jonathan. If it's with the answers, that is with me. And you can ask me tomorrow in the class. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Don't worry. It was funny. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Good night, <laughs> guys. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. You too. Good night. Thank you, you too. <laughs>